meeting to order. It's 9 o'clock. Commissioner Codis, will you lead us in an invocation of the Pledge of Allegiance, please? Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for this day and thank you for our beautiful county. Please guide our hearts and minds as we make our decisions today. Help us to work together and encourage each other to excellence. We ask this in the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Commissioner. There's uh, approval of the minutes from May 16th is our first item. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. Treasurer's report. Morning. Following payments were reported to the treasurer's office. We have accounts payable with a total of one million thirty-four thousand three hundred ninety-five dollars and thirty-six cents. Payroll for the period was four hundred thirty-four thousand nine hundred one dollars and seven cents. Various other payments include nine one one account with fourteen checks, six EFTs for a total of two hundred ninety-eight thousand nine hundred ninety-five dollars and eight cents. Liquid fuels, three checks for $23,524.66. CDBG account had 13 checks totaling $56,435.38. And finally, Liquid Fuels Act 89 had one EFT for $51.14. Thank you. Is there a motion to pay bills? So moved. Second. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Continue. Treasurer's report for the period starting 515 through 528, 2024. We had a general account starting balance of $3,877,218.46. Total debits for the period were $375,306.18. Ending the period with a balance of $2,781,178. And 21 cents. Finally, capital reserve ended the period with a balance of $16,495,609.52. Is there a motion to accept the treasure? So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Meetings in advance. I will give a list to the chief clerk for the minutes. If you want to point out that next week, CCAP has its board meeting. It's customary that the outgoing president have it hosted in his county, Mr. Rivera in Berks County. So I will be attending that next week. Yeah, a couple things. Um, attended the veterans event at Brett Park, also the Belleville Memorial Day Parade in Belleville. Both memorable for me. Uh, stand shoulder to shoulder with our gear. I echo those uh, comments from Commissioner Wise, the Veterans Program. What's excellent, we honored Dave Borland, 100 year old World War II veteran. That was a, a special event for us for sure. I also brought my list to the Chief Clerk, and I'd also like to welcome Natalie Bickert and Ava Liebegott from MCTV here today. Thanks for filming, ladies. Thank you. Public comment. Any public comment? I see none. Hearing none. New business is a proclamation for Child Welfare Appreciation Week. And I will read that. Mifflin County Child Welfare Appreciation Week, June 3rd to the 7th, 2024. Whereas every day in Mifflin County, children are at risk of child abuse and neglect. And whereas Mifflin County recognizes the risks and the need to protect the children of the county. And whereas the challenging task of investigating child abuse providing services to families, assessing safety, and providing services to protect Mifflin County's children falls to the child welfare professionals of the child welfare system. And whereas the work of child welfare professionals may require them to enter into situations in which their personal safety may be put at risk. Whereas child welfare professionals work in difficult and emotional situations with children who have been victimized by physical abuse, sexual abuse, neglect, and other forms of maltreatment. 
And whereas child welfare professionals must develop great skill in working with families who are in crisis situations, struggling with mental health challenges, suffering from drug and alcohol afflictions, poverty, and other difficult issues. And whereas child welfare professionals must develop substantial knowledge and skills surrounding the rights of families and the laws surrounding child welfare. And whereas innumerable injuries and deaths of children have been averted due to the efforts of child welfare professionals. Therefore, in special recognition of the efforts of the child welfare professionals serving the children of Mifflin County, we, the commissioners of Mifflin County, do hereby proclaim June 3rd to the 7th, 2024, as Mifflin County Child Welfare Appreciation Week. Signed this 30th day of May, 2024, Commissioners Postal, Coach, and Wise. Motion. 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 Second. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed. Motion carries. Nicole, do you want to say anything? <laughs> Um, I'd like to thank the commissioners for making this proclamation. Um, I agree with everything that the proclamation says. Um, I believe these workers deserve more than just a week for the work that they do. Our agency has continued to function at about half the case workers that we should have and has been able to maintain our license in good standing and assure the safety of um, children in Mifflin County. This is not an easy job and oftentimes a thankless one, but we want our workers to know we appreciate everything they do in this job and appreciate and thank them for the work that they do every day. We certainly appreciate what you do. Would um, you like to Union Township has 30. Motion. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? That motion carries. Request for exoneration of 2024 County Real Estate Tax Bill. I relieve the tax collector from collecting this bill. There's a parcel in Granville Township for $4.73. The carport was removed. Is there a motion? I'll make that motion. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Carries. Certification of the 2022 cost allocation plan. This is done annually. A motion to approve that. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. There's an election security grant funds for expenditures occurring between March 24th, 2024 and December 31st, 2025 for $3,000. A little bit of background, this is a grant that comes from the uh, Commonwealth. Every county gets some money, $3,000. I'm not sure how the formula was established. Um, it gave us $3,000. It will be used for election security. And I do point out that we voluntarily asked the Department of Homeland Security, I think it was in March, to inspect our machines and, and the uh, uh, location those voting machines. We had a report done, we made some improvements, mostly related to locks and keys. Um, this is a grant, though, to support some of that expense and also future expense up to 2025. Is there a motion to apply for the money? Motion. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Resolution number 35 of 2024 authorizes located in Brown Township on West Railroad Street. Motion to adopt the resolution number 35. Motion. Second. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Next, an agreement with Michael Baker International for the update to the comprehensive plan. The total is $137,236. Planning Director Jim Latier. Good morning, Commissioner. Yeah which is currently entitled Visions for the 21st Century, the Mifflin County Comprehensive Plan, which was adopted in April of 2014. Uh, within Article 3 of Section 302D of the Municipalities Planning Code, the county 
uh, must update their plan every 10 years. The uh, cost for its preparation, as you mentioned, is $137,236, which represents a $5,000 decrease from their initial proposal through negotiations with the project manager with Michael Baker. The plan will take approximately 14 months for its formulation, completion, and adoption, so we're looking about on or around July of 2025 for its completion. We also are exploring applying for Pennsylvania Department of Community and Economic Development Municipal Assistance Program funds, which may assist up to 50% of the costs for the preparation of the plan, while the balance would be incurred by the county. Uh, we also earmarked $10,000 in county CDBG administration funds to also offset costs from the general fund. Jim, you and the Planning Commission are the, uh, I guess the connection and contact for this. Are you setting up a subcommittee or is it the entire Planning Commission? We have a Planning Advisory Committee that we formed months ago, which involves uh, one appointment from the Planning Commission and several other stakeholders throughout the county. Okay, they haven't been appointed yet or haven't they? They haven't. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Any other questions for Planning Director Jim? And then I will entertain a motion to execute the agreement with Michael Baker International for $137,236. Motion. Second. There is now. I Opposed? Motion passes. Resolution number 36 of 2024, appointing Section 504 Compliance Officer and establishing a grievance procedure for the County of Mifflin on behalf of Parma, Brown, Derry, and Randall Township Supervisors and the Lewistown Borough Council. Uh, continue, Jim. Yeah, this is a federal regulation under uh, 24 CFR Part 8 of the Federal Code of Regulations for the expenditure of CDBG and home money, which requires the appointment of a Section 504 compliance officer, which 504 is re referring to uh, matters regarding accessibility to public buildings. And we are appointing Lonnie Griffith, the Director of Maintenance, as the appointed officer. Uh, all the other municipal entitlement communities, as Commissioner Postal read off, uh, are going to be responsible for ensuring their buildings are ADA accessible. I think this appointment has to be made uh, biannually every two years. Okay, any questions for Jim on this resolution? I will entertain a motion to pass resolution number 36. Motion. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? An application for payment number three to J. Fulcrove and Sons in the amount of $71,243.36. This is for phase two of the Juniata River Trail. Uh, Jim, give us some background. Yeah, that, that, that's correct. This is the uh, payment three. We have paid out $248,484.73 so far. The contracted price with J. Fulcrove uh, initially is $597,000. $743.69. Uh, project is 90% complete. Uh, the trail in itself is totally created. Um, the only, there's some three things that I'll discuss next uh, under the change order that have to be done in addition to the bituminous paving for the trail. Okay, so let's take care of this application to pay first. Motion. Second. Favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Send the check to Jeff for Code and Sons. Change order number two for phase two of the river trail. Um, uh, give us some background on this, Jeff. Yeah, this change order uh, inevitably came up during the course of the project in the amount of $30,267.22, which will change the overall contract from $597,743.69 to $628,010.82, which is to address two significant matters with the trail. One would be uh, the portion of the parking lot behind the uh, fire academy uh, in its present condition and due to the design and space limitations 
the two the small stone they put under before they put dirt on it is compacting and it's holding water and it won't hold the asphalt. So the remedy is to install the largest stone used for these projects, which will not compact, which is AASHTO number one rock, around 12 inches in depth, and those rocks are around three or four inches uh, in, in width, which will hold the asphalt and won't, won't cause the parking lot to subside due to rain. Second item is to address a washout problem at the lowest point of the trail near the river. Um, concrete plant, um, they do a lot of washout with their trucks, and then inevitably that washout storm water and that water is coming down the trail and washing out a part of the trail. So to remedy that problem, the engineer suggested a 20 foot long by 18 inch diameter corrugated pipe under that path portion to drain the water into the river during the course high water events. And then finally, the change order extends the substantial completion date from June 2nd to June 23rd for the entire project. And uh, I will arrange a ribbon cutting event, which will occur sometime after July 8th. And all the invitations will be sent out personally to the commissioners and other dignitaries as involved with the project. Thank you, Jim. Any questions, Jim, on the change order? Second. 